Hello, my name is Rashmi from the Department of Criminology, Raksha Shakti University, Ahmedabad, Gujarat. The title of the module today is Basics of the Internet and Cyber Crimes. The objectives of this module are number one, to identify different computer hardware and networks, number two, to understand the concept of BIOS and boot process, number three, to identify different computer memory and computer networks and communications. Some of the prerequisites for this module are that students should have a prior knowledge of basic understanding of computer, input output devices, operating system, primary and secondary memory and cyberspace. As we know computer is a device that transforms data into meaningful information. Data can be anything like marks obtained by you in various subjects. It can also be name, age, gender, weight, height, etc. of all the students in a class. Computer can also be defined in terms of functions it can perform. A computer can accept data, store data, process data as desired and retrieve the stored data as and when required and also print the result in desired format. The major characteristics of a computer are high speed, accuracy, diligence, versatility and storage. Some of the basic computer knowledge would be covered in this module. Computer hardware is a collection of physical components that constitute a computer. Computer hardware is the physical parts or components of a computer such as monitor, keyboard, computer data, storage, graphic card, sound card, motherboard and so on, all of which are tangible objects. By contrast, software is instructions that can be stored and run by hardware. Hardware is directed by the software to execute any command or instruction. A combination of hardware and software forms a usable computing system. The motherboard is the main circuit board of a computer. It contains the central processing unit which is also called as CPU, the basic input output system that is BIOS, memory, mass storage interfaces, serial and parallel ports, expansion slots and all the controllers for standard peripheral devices like the keyboard, disk drive and display screen. BIOS stands for basic input output system. It is the lowest level software in the computer. X as an interface between the hardware, especially the chipset and processor and the operating system. The BIOS provides access to the system hardware and enables the creation of the higher level operating systems that you use to run your applications. The BIOS is also responsible for allowing you to control your computer's hardware settings for booting up the machine when you turn on the power or hit the reset button and various other system functions. The internet sometimes called simply the net is a worldwide system of computer networks. A network of networks in which users at any one computer can, if they have permission, get information from any other computer and sometimes talk directly to users at other computers. The US Department of Defense laid the foundation of the internet roughly 30 years ago with a network called ARPANET. But the general public did not use the internet much until after the development of the World Wide Web in the early 1990s. Internet is considered an inexhaustible source of information. Just one of its services, the World Wide Web, offers more than 60 million pages with data in text form, images or sound. The management of this tool permits the user to know the latest advancement about almost any subject that is taking place in the world. The internet does not have a director to manage or control it. 
neither does it belong to a private or governmental entity. The majority of its services and resources are offered on a free basis to its users. The internet is used for many different activities including shopping, communicating, learning and distributing information. Computers are the primary tools to use the internet. This module will also help students grasp the basic concepts of computer hardware, memory and networks. The term computer hardware refers to the physical components of a computer system, those that one can see and touch. The CPU, memory and input output devices are the main components of a computer. Computer networking is used in many aspects of our lives and its applications are proliferating. For example, computer networks can be found in universities, secondary schools and colleges, while in the corporate world, networks link geographically separated offices. Local and state government offices use computer networks as do military organizations, medical facilities and the internet. With the introduction of the internet, gradually the threat of committing crimes in the digital space came into the picture. Cybercrime has its origin in the growing dependence on computers in modern life. In a day and age when everything from microwave ovens and refrigerators to nuclear power plants is being run on computers, cybercrime has assumed rather sinister implications. Internet connected activities are as vulnerable to crime and can lead to victimization as effectively as common physical crimes. The types of crimes that are currently occurring have existed long before the internet was around. By virtue of the tools being used today to commit cyber crimes, criminals are now more anonymous and provided with a virtual market of available victims. The responsibility falls on individuals to protect themselves and their families through safe online practices. Cybercrime is any criminal activity involving computers and networks. It can range from fraud to unsolicited emails. It can include the distant theft of government or corporate secrets through criminal trespass into remote systems around the globe. Cybercrime incorporates anything from downloading illegal music files to stealing millions of dollars from online bank accounts. Cybercrime also includes non-money offenses such as creating viruses on other computers or posting confidential business information on the internet. After completing this module, you will be able to under understand computer hardware and networks, to understand the concept of BIOS and boot process, to identify computer memory such as hard disks, CD-ROMs and DVDs, to understand the basic element of network and communications. Since technology is growing exponentially every day, the use of computers as a tool to commit criminal activities is also on the rise. Cybercrime is the latest and a complicated problem in the world of the internet. Cybercrimes are those crimes where the computer is used as an object or a subject to conduct crimes. The new generation relies on the internet and monetary transactions are also moving on the internet. The abuse of electronic media can have serious implications. With the evolution of the internet, cyber crimes take many faces and are committed in diverse fashion. Computer crime mainly consists of unauthorized access to the computer system, illegal distribution of racist or sexually explicit materials, intellectual property theft, stealing credit card numbers and launching computer viruses are all examples of cyber crimes affected over the internet. The abuse of computers has also given birth to a complex range of new age crimes that are addressed 
by the Information Technology Act 2000. Computer hardware. The computer hardware is the two part system consisting of a body that is the hardware and a mind that is the software. A computer therefore is a collection of electronic parts with a set of instructions controlling it. The activities of a computer are described in terms of the input process output that is IPO cycle. For example, when we are asked to add two numbers 135 and 458, we hear both the numbers and store the numbers in our memory. Our brain then add the two numbers. The result that is 593 gets stored in our memory. We either speak out or write down the result depending on our requirement. The numbers are the input added and the result is the output. Our ear is the input device and brain is the processing unit and mouse is the output device. Similarly, the computer follows the IPO cycle. Each component of the computer is involved in the IPO cycle. The system unit acts as the processing unit. The components of a computer are as follows. The monitor or the visual display unit that is VDU for the output the keyboard as the input device, the CPU for processing, the printer as an output device. Computer hardware is any part of the computer that we can touch and see, which includes all the electrical, mechanical and the electronic parts of a computer. Computer hardware includes the system unit, peripheral devices, input devices such as keyboard, mouse, etc. Output devices such as display unit, printer, etc. Storage devices such as hard disk, floppy disk, etc. The system unit is the central processing unit or the processor. It is the brain of the computer and is approximately 1.5 inch into 1.5 inch. It does all the computation work for the computer. The system unit consists of primary storage, arithmetic logic unit, and the control unit. The arithmetic logic and control sections together make up the central processing unit that is CPU. It is a box like structure of the computer. The box contains the power supply, storage device, hard disk and floppy drives and the motherboard containing CPU and memory. The keyboard closely resembles a typewriter. It has additional keys to handle special functions required by a computer. A computer keyboard has three categories of keys. Alphanumeric keys such as alphabet and numeric include alphabets A to Z and numbers 0 to 9. Special purpose keys perform special functions such as enter for return, backspace, insert, delete, home and page up, page down, num lock, caps lock, shift, alternate, control, escape and cursor keys. Function keys are used to perform a set of operations using a single keystroke such as pressing the F1 key will take us to the help feature. The mouse is an input device which is used to point and select some options on the VDU. A mouse may have one, two or three buttons. The function each button depends on the program. The monitor or the visual display unit looks like a TV screen and displays information. It can work in two different modes that is text mode and graphic mode. In the text mode, the screen is divided into a matrix of rows and columns. In the graphic mode, the screen is treated as an array of tiny dots called pixels. The characters and pictures that appear on the screen are shown by making a drawing of these pixels. The number of dots on the screen is called as resolution. The higher the resolution, the better the picture. A typical high resolution monitor has 124 into 768 pixels across the screen. Printers are required in order to get a copy of the output for later reference. They are capable of printing at a very high speed. Printers are classified on the basis of a number of parameters like the mechanism used for printing, speed of printing, 
quality of output, direction of printing and the kind of interface they have with the computer. Printers classified as impact com printers, characters printers, dot matrix printers etc. Storage devices are required to store data and other information. Computers primary storage is expensive and volatile. Secondary storage such as hard drives and floppy disk and both can be used as input and output devices. Floppy disk is the most common storage media and it helps transferring the data from one computer to another. Hard drives have higher capacity than a floppy disk. Hard disk is completely sealed and is protected from dust and airborne particles. Computer networks. Computer network consists of two or more computers linked by communication media. For example, cable or wireless media to achieve successful communication. Computer networks can be categorized as number one, local area networks that is LANs, metropolitan area networks that is MANs and wide area networks WANs. The fundamental differences among LANs, MANs and WANs are distance coverage, transmission, speed, media and error rate. A LAN is a class of computer network that covers a relatively small geographic area, for example a room, a building or a campus. This type of network has the lowest cost and least overall capability of the three geographic classifications. A MAN is a backbone network that links multiple LANs in an area, city or a metropolitan region covering up to 40 kilometers. A WAN is a class of network that covers a large geographical area, for example a country or a continent. Because of the extensive distances over which WANs communicate, they use long distance telecommunications networks for their connections, which increases the cost of the network. Telephone networks and the internet are examples of WANs. BIOS and boot process. BIOS stands for boot input output system. Since the hardware does not know where the operating system resides and how to load it, a special program is needed such as a bootstrap loader. The bootstrap loader is also known as the initial program load that is IPL. The boot process involves the hardware, software and the firmware. During the boot process, a series of software loads larger and complex programs until the operating system is started. The goals of the boot process are as follows. Check for errors, reset the hardware, reconfigure hardware changes, start the operating system. The boot process checks for hardware processor, input output devices if anything is missing and file system check that is software. BIOS goes through a pre-configured list of devices until it finds one that is bootable. If it finds no such device, an error is given and the boot process stops. When a bootable device is found, the BIOS loads and executes its boot sector. The boot sector is often operating system. In case of a hard drive, this is referred to as the master boot record that is MBR and is often not operating system specific. BIOS checks for configuration changes. When the CPU is powered on, the computer will start executing instructions at a fixed address. This first address is usually in the BIOS room. The BIOS runs configuration checks and eventually loads the initial operating system bootloader and starts the execution. The BIOS uses minimal software to initialize other components in the PC. Then it performs the power on self test that is post. The configuration changes are stored in a non-volatile memory. The post checks that the following basic components are functioning correctly. Motherboard, power supply, memory, video and keyboard. The BIOS selects one of the attached devices as the boot device. For example, hard drive, CD-ROM, floppy and USB. 
computer memory is an important part of the computer system. Memory is required in order to store data and information. There are various units to measure computer memory such as bit which is the smallest unit of computer memory, byte, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte and terabyte. Computer memory is divided into three types. Cache memory is a very high speed semiconductor memory which can speed up to the CPU. It acts as a buffer between the CPU and main memory. Cache memory is faster than main memory. Primary memory which is also known as the internal memory. It is located in the motherboard of the system. It is further divided into RAM which is known as random access memory. It stores the data which the user currently uses or stores temporarily. RAM needs power or electricity to work. When the computer power is turned off, all the data in it will be erased automatically. ROM is known as read-only memory. It only reads the data which is stored in it. This memory is used by a computer when it is turned on. It contains BIOS of the system. Secondary memory is where personal data is stored. It is non-volatile in nature so that we cannot lose the data when the power supply is off. Some of the secondary storage devices are as follows. Hard disk is also known as hard drives. This is the place where information is stored for further use. It is also the place where we can install the operating system in order to run the computer. The average computer comes with a 250 to 500 GB hard drive. Floppy disk is removable device coated with a ferric oxide. This device performs basic operations including reading and writing of data on it. Floppy disks were used to transfer data from one computer to another. Nowadays floppy disks are not used because of less storage and a high rate. Compact disks are mainly used to store data, music, movie, software etc. It can store 80 minutes of continued video recording. The space of CD is up to 700 MB. There are two types of CD which are CD-ROM and CD-RW. The basic technology of CD-ROM is the same as that for CD-audio. It is used to store computer data for PC games and other applications. DVD stands for Digital Versatile Disc. It is high capacity storage medium and is mainly used to store movie, music, software etc. The storage capacity of DVD is up to 4.7 GB. It has high storage capacity than a CD. There were two types which are DVD ROM and DVD RW. Networks and communications. Computers connect to each other by either wired or wireless media. Computer networks are classified based on various factors such as geographical span, interconnectivity, administration and architecture. The advantages of computer network and communication are as follows. Sharing of resources such as printers and storage devices. Exchange of information. Sharing of information through the internet. Interaction with other users as well. Instant messaging. Since the computers are used to generate information, communication through the evolving computer technology can be in the form of telecommunication which refers to the use of telephone, telegraph and radio or television facility to transmit information either directly or via computer and data communication which refers to the transfer of data or information between computer devices. Data communication involves the active process of transporting data from one point to another. Networks are communication system designed to convey information from a point of origin to a point of destination. Networks are of two types, local network which covers a small area and have a finite and relatively small number of users. The second type is global network which covers long distance and have an unlimited number of users. The effectiveness of a communication system depends on the delivery, accuracy 
and the time taken to deliver the data. The basic components of a communication system are as follows. Transmitter, which sends the message. Receiver, which receives the message. The medium is the channel through which the message was sent. The message is the data that is being communicated. The protocol is the set of rules that guides how the data is transmitted from encoding to decoding. The communication devices can be wired or wireless. The range of frequencies available for the transmission of data is known as bandwidth. But wider bandwidths permit more rapid information flow. A modem that is modulator demodulator is a device that modulates an analog carrier signal to encode digital information and also demodulates such a carrier signal to decode the transmitted information. Modems convert analog data transmitted over the phone lines into digital data so that computers can read. They also convert digital data into analog data so it can be transmitted. There are three types of modems such as landline, wireless and LAN modems. The primary purpose of computer network is to share resources such as to play CD music from one computer while sitting on another. Place a disk with pictures on one computer and let other computers access those pictures. Create files and store them in one computer. Then access those files from the other computer. Connect it to it, etc. The properties of computer network are facilitate communications through email, instant messaging, telephone and video conferencing. Sharing of files, data and other forms of information via authorized users. Share network and computing resources such as printing a document on a shared network. Because of the increased dependency on the internet, cyber crimes are becoming a serious problem. Computer networks can be classified as local area networks, metropolitan area networks and wide area networks. Each class of network has certain characteristics that make it suitable for certain networking applications. The term computer hardware refers to the physical components of a computer system, those that one can see and touch. Secondary storage devices such as hard disk and CD rooms help us store our personal data. Computer networking and communication is also essential in order to generate more information and also to share and store more data. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the module useful.